Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Kara and I are out here in the Nordhaus Dunes Wilderness Area in the Manistee National Forest at our favorite little lake, Nordhaus Lake. This is the first adventure to kick it off. I've got some gear I need to test that my wife and I are taking to the UP next week. Kara was getting antsy and wanted to get outside, so here we are, just for a quick overnight. Thanks for joining us. So we out here, man. I've got a new Coleman Sundome four-person tent to test out and a queen-size air mattress also from Coleman. I'm trying to get my wife out into the woods a little bit more and I think a little bit of comfort will do that. Gives us lots of room for our gear and our dog, gives us a nice cushy sleep. The new tent has darkroom technology which means it stays you know, dark in there well into the day, keeps the heat out. So we'll see how that goes. We're just gonna hang out and like enjoy the fire though. In Nordhaus, we always zip our tents to the top because the raccoons have learned to uh, unzip tents to the bottom. Here's the big old air mattress. It also comes with a pump that utilizes only the best 4D technology, which means it takes 4D batteries, which sucks. So there we go, all inflated up, nice and cushy. Fits really well with room around both edges fit some gear in and the dog bed even though the dog's probably gonna sleep on the bed I'll probably give you a tour around the inside a little tomorrow when it's light to let you see how dark the darkroom technology is in direct sunlight uh, let's take a walk around the outside though the Coleman Sun Dome 4 with darkroom technology the darkroom technology means that it keeps more light and heat out during the middle of the day supposedly what that seems to mean is darker thicker fabric throughout this rain flies thicker, like no light comes through it at all, but it's still vented like the other sun dome. You'll also notice the rain fly comes significantly lower to the ground, which is great for rain protection and for keeping the light out. Love our Coleman sun domes. Though you'd think with the darkroom technology, maybe, maybe they wouldn't call it the sun dome anymore. Maybe the no sun dome. Great looking tent. Really great to uh, be able to kneel up all the way inside. Can actually stand with a little crouch. Really lucky to be able to stand with a little crouch in there. Ah, oh, the noble pupper. She's just lounging around, enjoying the sights and sounds of Nordhaus Lake. It's starting to get dark. Gonna build the fire back up a little bit. Probably not eating much tonight or tomorrow. But we still got a fire going and it's nice. Karen and I are just enjoying the last little bit of fire. It's a really great temperature. Wonderful wind, not many people around since it's a Sunday night. We're just gonna cozy up and get ready for bed. See you in the morning, guys. Well, good morning, sunshine. How are you? Kara and I had a really good sleep in this dark, dark tent. I actually had to open a window to have any chance of filming in here. Slept well past sunrise, and it is already, I mean, it is trapping the cool in. Neat little features, you can see they seamed, sealed the bottom of all the zippers so the light doesn't creep in all the zippers have a little double flap there's like no light creeping in just a little bit under the vents and then just a little bit at the floor pretty good tent but i think i think kara and i are going to get up and start today good morning i had some friends up here with me at the start of the weekend so i got extra chairs and an extra tent i gotta take down loving the canoe super easy to get out here with those wheels if I've ever shown you the outhouse I put up, but uh, when women come to the woods, uh, their biggest complaint is there's nowhere good to poop. 
So I make an outhouse. Here is our outhouse. Just one of those little leap air pop-up changing tents and the fold out poop stool. It's a fine outhouse. It does the job. But yeah, Karen and I are just gonna get to packing. Good morning. Now the hardest part with any big tent, big air mattress, trying to get it folded up to fit back in the bag. I highly recommend you do it in little sections and just never fold it all the way in half. You'll never get all the air out. And smooth it as you go. Oh, you gonna help, Kara? Yeah, Kara's gonna help. Let's see, oh yeah, totally gonna fit in this bag. Oversized bags are nice. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Coleman puts terrible seams in their tent bags so that if you get your tent you unpack it you tear the seam out and it makes the bag you know a third bigger or something like that Kara and I had a lot of room it's almost like a castle it's great the queen sized air bed's nice it's a little cold because it doesn't have any insulation so I think I'm gonna put a blanket under it or maybe our thermorest pads when we go to the UP didn't get the canoe out but the canoe still works as a nice cart to get everything out here with those wheels so it's not so bad I love these dome style tents they've made Set up and tear down so easy at this point. Pulling stakes and folding it basically. It's just got this little velcro to hold the corner on and these clips that keep the sides tight. Pops right off. It's a lot easier to push these poles through and try and pull them through. But you gotta watch, make sure you don't get dirt in the ends of them. It's really hard to clean out. Got one more pull in the rain fly. It's got a little Velcro to keep it in there. Fly. See how it's got that black? That's that dark room technology that keeps the light out. Just like the uh air mattress, you know, little sections at a time. Make sure you're getting it even, getting all the air out. It helps if you can get your dog to help you out a little. And yeah, you're helpful, aren't you? You're a good supervisor. There we go. That's, uh, that's the whole tent right there. Everything packed not so gracefully into my canoe on wheels. If I were hiking any further, I wouldn't even bring the canoe in, but makes a great cart. Gotta get the canoe on top and get out of here. You know, thanks for watching. I hope you join us for the rest of our adventures in season two. It's gonna be a great season. We're gonna be out camping, hiking, fishing. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, you know, Carol will be there, John will be there. You'll get lots of dick tips. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, or you know, even if you didn't, still throw us a bone, man. Uh, this has been MI Adventure Life. Thank you.